everybody. It's Catherine from In The Pink Designs. <clears throat> My project today is a vellum box that has a cardstock base and it measures about four and a half by three and a half by one and a half. Alrighty, and inside I have some truffles and some grass in there, some shred. Um, get this out, I tied it kind of tight this time. This is a little hanger that I made from the, the uh, Celebrate with Tag stamp set. Okay, and there is four truffles and some shred in there, but you can put whatever you want. Um, some of the scratch-off lottery tickets will even fit in there. I'm going to use these on my Christmas table. Um, I'm going to, well, I'll make some in pink, but I'll probably make the rest in red or green, either one. Um, so, what we need today is the Celebrate with Tag stamp set along with the Celebration Tags dies. We need the <clears throat> Snowflake Specialty Vellum, which is sold out, but if you have some, that's what I'm using today. You can do this with cardstock also. You don't have to use vellum, but it's nice. I think that it's kind of see-through. Uh, or you could use it with any vellum you have. All right, so this piece here is... 10 by four and a half. Alrighty. We need a piece of polished pink cardstock that is five and a half by three and a half. Two blank mittens that so we can attach the string in between. Uh, we need two pieces of this is the Celebrate Everything Host Designer Series paper that are three and a quarter by three quarter and two that are one and a quarter by three quarter. We don't score the vellum, only the card stock. Alrighty, so let's get my Simply Scored. And we're going to start on the five and a half inch side and we're going to score at one and at four and a half. Then we're going to turn it to the three and a half inch side and we're going to score at one and two and a half. And that's it. Okay, and then I'm going to fold and burnish all my score lines. Okay, how we have this is we're going to use it the, so that the long way goes left to right. All right, we're going to go to the first score line, cut it to the first score line and then wedge each side of the square. Go to the next score line, cut it to the first score line, and wedge each side of the square. I'm going to turn it to the other side and do the same thing. Oops, first score line, wedge the square, next score line, and wedge both sides of the square. Okay, so this is what your cardstock should look like after you're done scoring it and cutting it. Now what we're going to do is get some liquid glue and we're going to put it on the tabs that are next to each other. And just make sure that the score line on the tab matches up with the side of your rectangle. And then we'll do the other one. Oops, got it on me. Make sure that the, the score line lines up with the side of your rectangle. All right, now what we have to do is we have to get some tear and tape. And we're going to put one inside on each side on the bottom and one on the top. 
We can't do this before we put it together because the tabs will not be down yet. I tried using glue and it is just kind of a mess. So I'm going to use the tear and tape. Okay, now we have all the tear and tape on the insides. And now I'm just going to use my take your pick tool to take all the backings off. Okay, now we need our strip of vellum that is <clears throat> 10 by four and a half. And what we're gonna do, if you have a preference on which one is the back, start at the back. All right, so we're gonna go in the middle here. You might have to roll it up. All right. And you're going to have to probably pull it off of tape at some point, but before you push it down, just start in towards the middle of the back of the box and push it into each corner, making sure that it's at the bottom. All right, you want to make sure that your vellum, keep rolling it up and sticking it in the middle. Make sure your vellum is touching the bottom and push it into each corner as close as you can get it. All right, it gets easier after you do the first two. And then this is going to go inside. Just make sure that you're pushing it into the corners. It's not going to go exactly flush, but... All right, now to finish the end. We're going to need some more tear and tape. And we're just going to squeeze it in there along the edge of the one that's on the outside or the inside. Either one, just make sure that it's facing the other piece. And then we're going to take the tear and tape off and then just squeeze it together. And it should be relatively straight and that means you got everything nicely down to the side. And then just go back in. See, mine are rounded a little bit. It's okay. Just go inside and really press that tape now that you have it nicely set. Okay, and that's your basic bag right there. Alrighty. Okay, let's put that to the side for a minute. And we're going to do our stamping. So we need a piece of basic white, which I forgot to put in the beginning. Sorry about that one. And we're going to be using polished pink ink, or you can use red or green or whatever color it is you want. All right, I'm just going to make two mittens. Okay. And then we cut them with this die here from the Celebrations tag dies. I already have two cut out, so we're good with that. All right, and then we need our other ones that we cut out. And I'm gonna use my silicone mat just because I'm gonna get it dirty. All right, so we need some baker's twine and I'm gonna go with about five and a half inches of baker's twine. I started a little bit with a little bit more and it was too long so I just knotted the top to make it a little bit shorter but I think this is right here now all right what we're gonna do is put glue is this right yeah put glue all around each mitten All right, first I'm gonna lay the baker's twine almost to the top of the mitten straight and then take the stamped mitten and put it right on top. Make sure your string is right out the middle of the cuff of the mitten. All right, and then we're gonna bring 
our other mitten over and we're going to put this almost to the top of this mitten make it go straight and then put the other mitten on top of this one okay and then we're going to just let that dry a minute all right now with our bag i'm going to put some pink shred. I get my shred, uh, I've said this before, after Easter and all the different colors that I want. And then I just put them in my closet. A couple bags. And I'm going to put in about four truffles. You can put whatever you want. You could probably slip a gift card in there. Um, uh, one of the smaller lottery tickets. And this time, time I used a quarter inch hole punch, which made it easier to get the ribbon through. But I'm afraid it's going to rip. So I'm going to do the smaller one this time. And it'll just be a little bit harder to get it through. So you want to have it, squeeze it together so that it's nice and even. And I'm going to put one there. And one there. Okay. And then I'm going to take about 19 inches of trim. And this is the iridescent trim. Okay. And I'm going to put it through. the front into the back and then reverse it. Before you cut this too, you could put a little tape around it and it'll make it a nice point. Just tie a knot first and then we're just gonna lay are these dry yeah we're just gonna lay this right over that knot with one a little bit longer than the other okay and then tie your bow there you go and you can always adjust these now, if you want to definitely keep them in a, in a spot, you can put a dimensional on each side, underneath each one if you want, but I think they're fine just like that. All right, 19 might be a little bit more. I, I would say probably 18 inches. A little too much night on the 19, so I'm gonna say 18. All right, now, we need, I forgot to put on our DSP. <laughs> All right, so we have two pieces that are three and a quarter by three quarter for the long sides, and two pieces that are one and a quarter by three quarter for the short size. And this is Celebrate Everything Designer Series paper. Okay. And then for the final touch, I'm gonna put some festive pearls, the silver ones. I'm gonna put one right in the middle of each of the snowflakes on the mittens. Okay, and that's it. If you have any questions, my email is below. I'm sorry I didn't get to everybody's requests. I know I got so many this time um, that I missed a couple of boxes that people asked me to make. I'm so sorry about that, but I will try my best <laughs> um, whenever you send one. All right, please subscribe and hit the like button and the links to my shop and to my blog that have all the measurements are below. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.